Katie, and I was going to upload for my activation for the Artistic Worship DVD what I got to do at the Mount Airy Conference, but that recording seems to have been lost. I'm just going to talk about what the Lord gave me as a vision and kind of how it came about when we actually did it. The vision the Lord had given me was kind of a whole lot of white and gold filling the room, kind of like his presence, and that we, because the conference was the chambers of the king, and I saw lots of color and the pinwheel, and I didn't even realize I'd seen the pinwheel until I watched the video, and then I said, oh, that's what I'm seeing. So it was really neat to be able to do it, and fun to work with the people to get them to come in and create this really neat thing and and so I started out with putting a couple of flags in place white flags and a gold billow up on the stage waving not up and down but back and forth out into the congregation or the participants and then I brought in white billows on the side again not so much up and down as I asked them to go back and forth. I don't know why the Lord put that on me, but just that his spirit and his glory coming back and forth. And then I put four colors in the center, one at a time. I started with purple and then added green and blue and red. And after I got them all in place, I set people in the wedge and had a couple tie it and had them go around and the dancers stay in the wedge. It was really neat. It's just really neat to watch people and, and learn, for me to learn how to lovingly orchestrate this and take my time and be sure to tell people, now wait till I get to the other side and, and I'll signal you or they'll signal you, but we got to wait so both parties know. That was very neat for me and it was fun to put Sheila up front. And God just said, put Sheila up there. And she did not know anybody's watching her, which is so cool. I, I like that. I, Carrie had told me she didn't know either until she actually turned around. And that kind of frees the person up to just worship the Lord and really opens things up for the Lord to move. And then we ended with taking the billow cloths and folding them up and one at a time unwinding the pinwheel. And as they unwound it, I instructed them to, one at a time as they unwound it, to just start following Sheila. And then once we, they were all following Sheila, uh, I had to ask Lynn it was, learn how to get that circle. Because I wanted them all in a circle, but I didn't know how to get them in a circle. And, and so she said she does it all the time, and it made so much sense. It's the weaving, which is really neat, because that's kind of, to me, a... Um, a tearing down of strongholds, that's a, that's a declaring when you start moving in and out. There's just such a, a strength in that, holding hands and making a weaving in and out. And adding people to it until you have everybody in the circle. And then I chose Annie to lead movement in the circle. And we went for a few moments doing that. And then it ended. It was time for class. So that was my creative, um, not creative, artistic worship activation. It was very successful, and I wish I had a piece of it to upload, but thanks.